Welcome to List It Live, where we give you a guided tour of San Diego's hottest homes for sale. I'm here with Janet McCarthy. Hi, good morning to you guys. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yes. I'm glad to be back. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming yeah. in. Mm -hmm. We are so excited to share your latest listing mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. our viewers. It's a two bedroom, two bathroom home, a um, little under a thousand square feet over in Vista. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this property and why someone should go out and take a look. Well, first of all, it's a great area, the Shadow Ridge area of Vista. This is a two bedroom, two bath, downstairs condo, completely upgraded. You're gonna see all the nice things that you wanna see. I love this picture because it shows that front courtyard patio area that's enclosed so you can really use it and feel comfortable there. And then you step straight into the con. Oh, here's the community pool area. Absolutely gorgeous resort quality pool, not just like a little pool in the middle of the community. Within walking distance to the uh, condo that I'm selling. Um, so I always like to be as close to the amenities as possible because then I feel like you're actually going to benefit and make use of them. Exactly. Um, Shadow Ridge is a great, so here's the kitchen, uh, you're going to see quartz, stainless steel appliances. I love this picture because it's showing that it has a bar area or a counter area that attaches to or feeds into the dining room area. So you have lots of open cooking. The lighting's all been done, the cabinetry's all been upgraded, nice footprint to the um, kitchen so you don't feel really cramped. You have all the counter space and the space that you need to work. Oh, it's definitely nicely appointed, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. for the price and the yeah, size of the yeah. unit. Actually, this is the lowest price place that you can buy in the Vista Shadow Ridge, uh, 92081. Um, it goes from 540 to 1.1, yeah. almost 1.2 million. And this is the lowest price entry level home that you can get in the community. So we're seeing the dining room area and you can see the really nice lighting fixtures that have already been done. They have the wood um, blinds in the, the dining room area and take note, crown molding, lots of little extra things that really mm -hmm. kind of punch it up and make it a quality residence. This is the dining room area, you're going to see the travertine flooring. Kitchen, dining room, kitchen or dining room, living room combo. So it does have a fireplace, which is kind of nice. We don't always need the mm -hmm. heat, but the ambiance from the fireplace is really desirable. Yeah, it definitely makes it more cozy and mm -hmm. it definitely feels like it's such a spacious uh, home, um, even though it's a little under a thousand square feet. Yeah, nice, nice layout. And then you're going to have the two windows in there too, so you have nice light that comes mm -hmm. into the area. Um, and this is a good picture because it's showing how the living room feeds into the hallway area. It does have a full size uh, washer and dryer. And uh, then the two bedrooms, the master bedroom is very large. That's the master bedroom. It has the uh, wainscoting or um, paneling, mm -hmm. so that's really nice. Once again, we're seeing um, crown molding and they have ceiling fans in all of the rooms. Upgraded brand new AC and furnace. I think that's like a year old. Oh, that's nice. So it's always good to know about that, right? Yeah, the master bath is all done. You have all the granite, the, the shower's done. That's If you've ever done any remodeling, the bathroom is always the worst place. I like the window in there. This is the secondary bathroom or the guest bathroom, already upgraded, move-in quality. Once again, you're seeing crown molding. Definitely nice that you don't have to go in and touch the bathrooms. Mm -hmm. It truly is move-in ready if mm -hmm. someone just wanted to buy it and then um, not touch it and do any work. Nice cohesiveness too, so you're, you're seeing the washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. Washer and dryer are not included. The uh, owner is moving and he decided later he's going to take those items with him. But the location is in the hallway and it's large enough to have a full size washer and dryer in there. And this is the front of the unit where you're going to see the front patio. It also has a storage area on the front. This unit has parking directly a parking spot directly in front of the unit. It also has a one-car detached garage. What I like about this community is it's very open. There's a lot of parking available, guest parking. I must have seen 15 guest parking spaces. And a lot of times you go into a condo mm -hmm. area, it's really tight. You can't figure out where to park. You feel like, well, if I park yeah. here, I'm going to get ticketed. No, it's really, really nice and open there. 
them, well, if someone wants to check out this condo before it's gone, are you doing open houses this weekend? Not this weekend. This is a coming soon. It's going to be open next weekend. The seller is moving. The trucks are coming next Monday. So we're going to wait for all that to settle down and get them moved out. And there'll be a lot more advertising of when the open house is. But you can contact me before then. Okay, great. <laughs> I'd love to talk to you. Awesome. Well, if you're looking for a move-in ready, spacious condo over in Vista, give Janet a call. Um, it is coming soon, but they'll be doing open houses next weekend. And if you want to get in before then or get more info, give her a call and she'd be happy to set up a showing and chat with you about it. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you.